Hey, hey, welcome to your first day of contemporary history or geography class, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, <laughs> this is a very short video and that's why I'm combining 1.1 and 1.2 and it for real is short. You guys that don't believe me. Every time I say that it's a short video because it's true, most of the time it's not. So I don't mean to lie, it's just that in my mind I think it's going to be short. Okay, but let's keep this one real for real short. Um, because how you're going to be doing this book is a lot like how you're doing the science book. And you're like, no. Ah, Okay, because um, it's going to be easy, don't worry, uh, and it's going to be interesting. Okay, so I will come and I will tell you what to be looking for, and I'll talk to you about some stuff so like, you know, I'm teaching you. Um, it's virtual classes. We got to um, be as creative and innovative and flexible as we can be. Okay, but the first chapter is super basic. It just has a lot of terms. So I don't really need to talk to you about a lot of stuff, which is why it's gonna be a short video. I just need to tell you what to be doing, okay? And if you don't understand it, talk to me about it. And you're like, no, it's just guy, I don't get it. But I know that you will um, be able to understand these words. You might think that some of the words are pretty technical because you would know them in Spanish and they may not have correlation in English, but um, look at the definition and then use your translator if that's gonna help you kind of like retain the information better, okay? because it is interesting information and it's super important. This first chapter lays a great foundation for knowing the vocabulary and the terminology that you need to, to really understand and study well history and geography. If you guys remember like a couple of you from three, well, mo almost all of you guys were here, but um, about three, Two or three years ago, we actually studied this first chapter. I just made you copies out of a book I already had. So um, it's not new information, but there are a lot of different words. Okay, so look at your book, open it up to chapter one. You need to read each section, okay? It's easy reading. Um, it's not super complicated because the grade level of this book is not really sure. It is high school level, obviously, but it's um, written at a basic level. So what you need to do for section one and section two, okay? It might change according to the sections, but because these are so basic. What I want you to do for section one and section two is you need to find every bold term. Bold means that it's super black, right? The very, very black terms. You need to find every one of them, and there's a montón in the, the sections, okay? And you need to give a definition and or the most important thing mentioned about that, that term. So for example, like geography. It's fine for geography if you just say that it's the study of the earth, right? But when you get over to, um, to the continents, for example, you are gonna list the continents, but then each continent is mentioned and you should give me an important fact about each continent. Each ocean is mentioned and you should give me an important fact about each ocean, okay? Important, not just like you pick one, but that you're reading and that you know that that's one of the most important things that they said about it. You're gonna see topography. What is it and what's the most important thing to know about it? Go to page number eight. Go to page number eight. When you're naming mountains, yes, you're, gonna, you're going to define mountains, but you're also going to tell me one of the most important things they talked about, a specific mountain or a specific number that you have to know about. Like, for example, mountains rise at least 2,000 feet above sea level. That would be a perfect thing to put for mountains. But if you look over in um, plains, Plains talks about a specific plains. Two of the world's largest plains are the Northern European Plain and the Great Plains of North America. That's information that you need to put in your notes, okay? Because th these are your notes that you're taking. You're not gonna be doing an outline. You're gonna be doing just like science, how I tell you, talk about these certain things. So I want you to pick out all the black words, all the bold words, and I want you to tell me the definition and something important that's mentioned about it, okay? If it's something super basic like geography, fine, just write the study of the earth. But don't write for mountains, most prominent landscape feature on the earth. 
That don't tell me nada about mountains. So don't just copy the sentence that you find the bold word in, okay? Because I know you guys, and that's what some of you will do. Plateaus are another type of highland. No. Read the paragraph about plateaus and then tell me the most important thing you learned about plateaus so that I know what a plateau is and not just that it's a highland. Okay? So um, you're going to see hydraulic cycle on here. Waterfall. Waterfall gives a specific waterfall. Tell me about it. Okay? What's an oasis? It talks about a specific region of the world. Tell me about it. So I would imagine that you're going to have like two sentences for each bold term unless it's so, so basic that you can't find another one, okay? And then you need to do the section one review, okay? So for 1.1, all the bold terms, probably two sentences for each one, section review. 1.2, all the bold terms, these are your climate zones, super good information, be looking at your pictures because your pictures are gonna help you, okay? And, um, yeah, your pictures are gonna help you. <laughs> and I'm hopefully gonna find you a short little video about wind patterns and currents to send out for um, tomorrow as well. Okay, because that it's interesting information and important. Okay, so bold terms and then answer your section review. When you get to this right here, this will really help you with your climate zones. This will really help you, this page right here. So no, you don't have to copy the whole thing, but those are bold terms. So make sure that you talk about them and give me two sentences for them, okay? If you have any questions, just let me know. Bye.